Hello guys, remember me? I'm Orbiter, and welcome back to Curdle Quest Part 6. Gravity is my friend, and landing on Jules Moons. Yes, but first off, I want to redo my uh, mission to get a fuel tank in orbit around Jewel because it failed last time. Tried to use gravity uh, aero braking through Jewel's atmosphere. But we'll get to that, we've got over a year before that gets there. At the moment, we've got this mission, which is where I'm going to get land some of you guys on the moons on Jewel. Yes, and I don't know who they are at the moment, we'll get to that. But someone suggested that we use the moons of Jewel for gravity breaking. And that is what I'm going to do here. That This full episode is based around that, using Jewel's moons to do gravity breaking. And by here you can see me do an experiment. Well, we've got a gravity break from one of the moons. Now let's see if we can circleize to get as close to Val as possible. See how much energy that would take. Okay, so the initial burn is 254 to get a flyby of a lathe for gravity break and then 730 meters per second to get into a similar orbit as Val. I don't think that's sufficient. So we're gonna change our approach. What we're going to do is set up the same maneuver to get a flyby a lathe and then we're going to do another gravity breaking adjust but one thing to remember when you're doing these those moons can send you out to the plane of the of jules orbits of the moons anyway let's get into comments as we're going to do these burns from a joe alberta oh yeah and i i couldn't stage this burn correctly so i had to activate it through the menu from joe burke alberta can you name a Kerbal after me? Yes, I can, and I will do. And can you make me the only Kerbal on Moho? Love the vids. Thank you very much. And yeah, I could do that unless someone else asks that to join you on Moho. Then you won't be alone. So, but I hope you don't mind that. <laughs> anyway, let's get this set up for another moon flyby. And another comet from Pyrotrek Andruzetsky. Don't use Jules' atmosphere, use Jules' moon's gravity as a slingshot, and please use Google Translate for my surname. It's really annoying. Language is Polish. Yes, I did actually use that, and let me try and play. I probably won't hear it. So it's com- So it's coming Andrzejewski. Is that right? Andrzejewski. So hopefully that is right, so <laughs> let's move on. As we set up a moon flyby, by the way, if you want to use gravity braking to get a better thing and go in front of Val, this will reduce the amount, I think, the amount of uh, thrusting we have to get into orbit around there, around Val, and get as close as possible as well. Anyway, from Patriot03, how do radiators work in space? In fact, they work exactly the same in space as they do on Earth, except they don't have the added benefit of atmosphere or anything that will convect the heat away but radiation still works the same way energy gets lost through ray, uh, infrared which is heat energy I suppose you could call it uh, but it's not as efficient as if you had sort of like air around it to get the, to absorb the heat and that's what happens that's why radiators on the space station are a lot larger than what they probably need to be Anyway, from Gavin Campbell, cheers for adding my name as a Kerbal, don't care where you send me, but knowing my luck, I'll be KIA, or killed in action, <laughs> lol, uh, don't, uh, don't you trust me, uh, don't worry, I'm going to make it my mission to try and keep you guys alive, in fact, I'm going to add my name to the pool to make sure that I don't kill myself, to give me incentive not to kill the Kerbals. Okay, so I was just thinking about setting up, uh, landing guidance and I'm sure there was a button that I could show landing predictions or something and set myself so so it appears on the navel I could use that to land precisely where I wanted to I'm not sure if it shows burns up or anything but yeah it, it's something you got to work out however so I decided here to use the automatic landing guidance landed target and as we do that from Josh Chab can you add name a couple after me Josh and try not to kill him what the hell? Thanks. <laughs> what the hell, guys? Don't you guys trust me? <laughs> Is there something wrong? Do you not trust my piloting skills? Have I killed so many Kerbals that you don't trust me? <laughs> don't worry, I'm not going to try and kill you guys. Anyway, from Messy School Thing, Hello, Orbiter. I know a good way to launch from Lathe. 
Lathe has an oxygen atmosphere, so you can use jet engines to take off. I did it also, and it worked quite well, but I had too much fuel left. Yeah, I'll have to... I could try that. It would be sort of like having to stage the engines, perhaps, or perhaps go two stages where the jet stage goes back and lands while the other stage goes into orbit. Oh yeah, and watch this bit. I was wondering what the hell is going on, this pulsing. It's hovering. It's not landing, it's hovering, but I don't know what it is. Mech Jeb needs recoding. Anyway, now who are lucky to Kerbals is Tardigrade and Monkey Taylor. You guys are going to be setting up the first base on Val. Don't worry if you don't want to stay on Val. You could, you know, once you set your first task, that is your main task, is to set up the base on Val before you go anywhere else. And the reason I chose Val and Paul for these missions was because they had lower gravity than the other moons. And I didn't, I couldn't enter a lathe because I didn't have anything to enter the atmosphere lathe, heat shields or anything. Anyway, let's get to some more comments from Gabe M. Hey, can you name a Kerbal after me? My name is Gabe M, by the way. I don't care where I go. Yes, no problem. Uh, from Jack Pal Palacios. You should name a Kerbal. Uh, you should name a Kerbal for me. Call it Poop City. Put me on any planet if you want. And he puts another comment or my name. So what I've done, I decided to name you uh, Jack Palacios Poop City. <laughs> so yes, all, all in your name. I don't know, you're not on a mission at the moment, but don't worry, we'll get your Kerbals out there sometime or some other. But first off, we've got a plant your flag ceremony here for Tardigrade and Monkey Taylor. Uh, I can't remember what did I decide to write on this. Yeah, I decided to name these bases after the first Kerbals who founded them. So it's going to be Val, Tardigrade, and Monkey Taylor. As he's typing that out, from Dakabo112, can you make me a Kerbal? No, I can't make you a Kerbal, but I can name a Kerbal after you. <laughs> yes, no problem, I'll add you to the mission roster. So as, what were we typing out? Val, Tardigrade, Taylor base. First landed here by Tardigrade and Monkey Taylor. Yes, awesome dudes. You have started the first base. You're the first Kerbals to land here. The first Kerbals to set for the first to we'll start the base, I suppose. <laughs> anyway, from Sakasham, as we leave these Kerbals behind to start another base on another moon. From Shakasam, Solanki, can you add my name? Shaksam? I hope that's right. Yes, I will. And yes, I think I've already added you. I haven't done it on video. Oh, by here, I decide we, we can't use gravity breaking because Paul is the next moon. I've never been meeting to Paul, and that's why I've chosen that as well as it's a small moon. But I've decided to go to Paul, and I you have to do a gravity slingshot, which get, gets the... You know, the gravity up, um, oh, gravity up, bulls not getting English properly correct. You have to get the slingshot to get higher in the orbit around Jewel. So that's what we're doing here. And I think we got you, Val, and Leo for this mission. So do well and don't die, please. I'm not going to kill these guys, don't worry about it. Anyway, from uh, who we've got next? From Yuval, 88 fish, and uh, skip to this landing by here because we've got lots more to do. I am now participating in the mission. I have never felt prouder. No problem. <laughs> Just don't die. Do not die. It'll give me a bad name if you die. But yes, no problem. <laughs> and uh, hopefully we can do a lot. I don't think you're on a mission at the moment, or are you? you uh, you're on the spacecraft, are you? I don't know, you'll be on a mission at least at one point. Anyway, from Roma, Roman Romy, can you make me a Kerbal too? My name is Roman, as in he's a Roman. I think, I don't know where that would come with that, but yes, no problem. Okay, by here, we were going to land on that mountain, but it's a bit too steep. So I decide to come down on the side of it, and you'll see... <laughs> There's me testing the gear. I don't know why I was, uh, I was bored. I was waiting. I'm getting done so slow. This video is in fact sped up to make it better for you. Anyway, from Malikai. Thanks 
for my Kerbal, and the name comes from the Thor, the Dark World Dark Elf name, Malekate, or something like that. That so I started to think and come up with with Malekai. And I think it's an awesome name, you know, it could be a good guy, a bad guy, or perhaps he's one in the middle, you know, he's a bad guy, but until he needs to do something, you know, something comes up, that someone he's rescuing, so he'll go out his way and rescue them and say, oh damn it, why does this have to happen now? And goes and saves the damsel in distress or something. <laughs> yeah, that, that's my story for you. Anyway, we have landed, you well? And Leo have landed on Paul. You were the first Kerbals to land. And in fact, you're the first Kerbals that I landed on here as well. So, good on you guys. Well done. So, they're posing now for the picture. Oh, don't forget. And why do you guys have to plant the flags backwards? Come on, get with it. So, again, Paul, Leo, and Yuval. Base. This base was founded by Paul... Um, Yuval and Leo Kerbals. So awesome dudes. And I think I by here I decide to, to add extra footage or something. I hear a screenshot. When are you gonna fly up the mountain? <laughs> anyway, let's get to another comment as you're doing that from Mark St Stolmeyer. How many Kerbals do you have on the quest now? Room for any more? Add me, please. I see what you mean, please. Yes, no problem, I'm glad to you. I'm not sure how many Kerbals, I'll have to count them. I've got you all in a text document at the moment. I forgot to add myself to that. And so I put in text document so I can copy and paste. And from CSX68FS15. I want to be a Martian. Name my Kerbal after the movies, Mark. Uh, did I add you? I'm not sure yet. I'm going to have to remember and change your name if I've already added you. Oh, by the way, here we are. This is the spacecraft. I found that when I was sending the other spacecraft to do fl flybys, this has must have got slingshot out of the plane of the moons. So what we have to do is a couple of moon flybys here of uh, Lathe. Because Lathe is one of the biggest moons. It's not the biggest moon, I think. One of the other moons is large, slightly larger. But here's the slingshot, this is going to get you back into the plane of the moon's orbits. Yeah, it's awesome to watch this stuff, and it's sort of mind-boggling. The gravity assist from that gets you in the same plane as the moon's orbits. And then another flyby of one of the moons, and we get to another comment. From Xenerus66, I request to be added as a curl, but I don't want to die. I think I'm going to add to you, and I'll, I'll put you... I said I'd put you a bit on top of the VAB so you can never die. But knowing my luck, well, actually, I don't know. One of the rockets will disassemble and destroy the VAB. <laughs> From Jake McLaren, anyway, as we do another flyby, and you see the shadows of one of the moons on it. Can you name a Kerbal Scott Manley? Oh, yes, that were, I remember this one. And send him to Duna. Bloody hell, three Kerbals on Duna. Three Kerbals that are going to be alone on Duna. They're going to be alone on their own. <laughs> I don't know who's going to do that. Yeah, no problem. I'll add Scott Malley to this. From Daniel Jimenez. Can you name a Kerbal for me? Yes, no problem. He also adds, love your content. Cheers, buddy. As we fly by another man, another moon, fly by to get his gravity breaking. And look at those two shadows of two moons at the same time. That's awesome. That is an awesome picture. From Connor Crowley. Could you name a Kerbal after me? Name, name is Connor. No problem. From Dr. Bones Gaming. Can you add my name? Can you name a Kerbal after me? Sorry. Dr. Bones. And can I go to Eve or the Sun as close as I can? Great video. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, yeah, I'll have to remember that. I sort of like put everyone under a tab so I know where they're going to go. So I'm going to have to remember to do that. Anyway, from Michael Harding. Um, ooh, clap. I would like something crazy down with my Kerbal. I'm sorry my nose is again blocked up by you. Still got a cold. I would, uh, I would like something crazy down with my Kerbal. Can be anything you want as long as it's awesome. I'll, I'll have to do something about that. And this is what I was going to do with this ship. You can see him docking by here. 
so I've got a lot of comments to go through, sorry, so I'm going to quickly go through them. From GamerX, yay, it's my name! I'm trying to drag the mouse perspective. Oh yeah, the mouse was on the video. <laughs> I don't know what's up with that. I'd rather not explain it by your... From MouseBear42 CSGO Nub. Can you add MouseBear42, please? Yes, no problem. From Dakes. Anyone else at 1835? Damn it, the cursor didn't move. Yeah, that's my cursor. And that's on the second monitor. That's not over the top of the... Um, it's not over the game. So whenever I mouse off the game, the cursor comes up as normal cursor, which is weird. From Jane... Oh, you added a lot more there, but I've got more coins to go through. From J John Wayne Tingley, add a name. I call him John Wayne. I love the ch your channel. No problem. <laughs> From Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Oh, names. Costa Rica? I think Costa Rica. Oh, that's it, yeah. Well, I couldn't work that out. I've been watching your KSP videos for quite some time now, and I've, every time I see you do something on the series, I get determined to try to do it as well, but it always results in dead curbles. Yes, it does take time to learn this. Um, from Human Vios. Hey, bud. Great video, as always. Also, you may have already guessed, but when error breaking in Jewel, you need to make sure the center mass at the front. I do know that, but uh, I wasn't sure if it was enough for that craft. In other words, cram all your weight up the front, near the heat shield, and don't slam into Jewel too hard. To to test this, go to the VB S space plane higher and get the center mass center lift. Breaks over back to work back to work for me. Yes, it does take time. I'm gonna do in fact the next clip we're gonna have is me trying this again. And I've added air brakes on the back of the rocket, tried to keep that center, and I'm not going as deep into the atmosphere. So cheers from VS Humor, and go and check his channel out. In fact, I've got a video to watch his after I've done this. He's an awesome, he does awesome videos, by the way. Better than mine, I, <laughs> and I'm not a joking. Anyway, from only 10 more cat videos. <laughs> Can you add me as a Kerbal and name him the coolest? Yes, no problem. Send him to Bop, as he can find that cracking. Oh, I have to go look for that one. From Monkey Taylor. Who one who just landed on the moon? You put Monkey Taylor, yay! No problem. <laughs> From Manuel Bravo. Awesome video, please say my name on the next video. No problem, Manuel Bravo. From Avac. Av. Ugh. Av cool. Av cool? Av cool? I don't know. Can I go to Dunar? Call me Andrew. Yes, no problem. I have four cables. Dunar is it? No. And now from Tardy Great Gaming, another one who landed on the moon, Val. Can I or we, your subscribers, submit spacecraft? That would be great. Yes, and I think that would be awesome. If you want me to fly your craft, perhaps to Jewel or perhaps one to the other planets, then just let me know. You know, I may do a break video from Jewel in this series and say, like, go to the man, or uh, not man, sorry. To go to Duner because a lot of four Kerbals want to go to Duner now, so I'm gonna have to do that. Anyway, guys, that is all the comments for this video. I don't read replies to comments normally unless it's you know in addition to the comment you've added or something. Otherwise, I'd, I'd be there your all day doing comments, and this video would be too long because we're coming to the end of this video. And this is this is the um, arrow breaking one. And I've, all I've done here, I've added an extra fuel tank at the front, or near the front, so it's more weight, and also I'm using the aero brakes to try to keep it straight as well as fins, because it's very important in atmosphere you have extra control. Now the heat shield should protect all that, and it looks like it has, and it looks like we're in a good stable orbit. That's awesome guys, I'm liking this episode. I've done a lot of things right. <laughs> things haven't exploded, so as we jet on this, I can come to the end of the episode. And I don't know what next to do. Let me know in the comments below. And I will see you in the next video. I'm Orbator. Trust me, I'm an engineer. Ah oh, well. Back to YouTube.